Today's video is about type 1 diabetic kidney disease and a couple things you can do to help to help support good kidney health and support normal kidney function. So thanks for watching. I'm Robert Galarowitz, a naturopath, nutritionist, kidney survivor myself. Been living with a kidney transplant for 18 years. I've been through dialysis, kidney failure, so I know exactly what it feels like. So if you're new to our channel, take a look. We have hundreds of videos about how to support kidney health naturally. And today, I want to talk about type 1 diabetes because you don't hear a lot about this. So we have two major types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 2 is the most common one considered adult onset. Generally, you get it as an adult. Uh, some children do get it. And it is uh, the largest okay, of the diabetes um, and a high, high rate of causing kidney failure. Now, with type 1 diabetes, you're born with it, okay, where your body makes little to no insulin. And so you're insulin dependent for the rest of your life. And there is also with type 1, there's also like type 2, a very high rate of kidney failure. So in type 1 diabetes, it's about a 30% of people with it will end up with kidney failure in their lifetime. It doesn't get a lot of attention, but it's something that I want to talk about and things you can do. It's so important and it tends to get overshadowed by type 2 is the major one that most of the world has. So that's why you don't hear a lot about it. So all the things that I talk about in my other videos, majority of them will apply to type 1. But what I wanted to talk about today is where there's lots of positive, good research over the years, not, not like a couple articles or studies, lots and lots of studies, is fiber. And having a high fiber diet helps type 1 diabetics. It helps support type 1 diabetic kidney disease because fiber does a few different things. It slows the raising of your blood sugar. Fiber also sweeps away kidney toxins. It helps support normal elimination of kidney toxins. Fiber also helps the cholesterol. But the big thing with type 1 diabetics is it prevents the rise in blood sugar, supports a good, healthy, normal increase in blood sugar. So what I'm going to recommend is that each meal you should take about 10 grams of fiber. Okay, that's a really good benchmark to go for. Now you can do it through food. Okay, so what I'd recommend with food, you can always get a fiber chart, but you can take two cups of vegetables at lunch, two cups of dinner, and then maybe use a fiber supplement at breakfast, or if you're okay eating vegetables at breakfast, that's great. I'm gonna go through a couple of kidney-friendly vegetables out there. So we have uh, apple, uh, asparagus, beets, berries are great, green beans, broccoli, carrots, eggplant, onions, cauliflower, so lots and lots of good kidney-friendly vegetables out there. And they also have a lot of nutrients that help your body in so many different ways. Fiber also acts as a prebiotic. So you want to try to get two cups at lunch, two cups at dinner. It'll get you high into around that 10 gram area of each meal. You also can do a high fiber cereal, okay? So make sure it doesn't have a lot of sugar. Generally, if it's a really high amount of fiber, um, it'll prevent the rise in blood sugar, and they sell a variety of those at stores. Now, you could use a fiber supplement, which is also a great, great, good thing to help support type 1 diabetic nephropathy, kidney disease. So, a lot of fibers out there. The one I prefer is acacia fiber. Okay, it's a certain fiber that's soluble. It um, completely dissolves in water. It's been really, really is good research to support kidney health, but you can use any type of dietary fiber. And look to take one to two tablespoons at each meal. Okay, that's very helpful. One to two tablespoons at each meal. So even if you're not gonna eat the vegetables or you wanna add this with your vegetables, uh, either way it's good. Mix it with water or any other fluids or liquids you're using. Um, and you can take it at the end of the meal, in the middle of the meal, later time in the day. But prefer one to two tablespoons with each meal. That'll really, really help. And start gradually and build to the higher doses. Maybe you want to start with two teaspoons or a tablespoon if you're not used to eating a lot of vegetables, getting a little fiber in your diet if you're not used to fiber supplements. Fiber pills, unfortunately, you got to take too many of them to have any type of benefit. So unless you're a pill popper, someone's going to take a lot of pills. I'm talking like 10 pills or so because you want to get a lot of fiber. Uh, it's going to be a lot of pills would be tough. So the option is the powder, which is generally better. Um, you get more of it, easier to get. Now, another thing that you can do with type 1 that's also shown beneficial in type 2 is the order that you eat your food. 
So if you eat it in a certain order, it'll actually prevent uh, very high rises in blood sugar. So what you want to focus on first is eating your proteins and your vegetables first. Okay, proteins and vegetables, vegetables and protein, eat those first. Then the carbohydrates. Then you can have, uh, whether you're doing rice, bread, pasta, potatoes, whatever it is, quinoa. Okay, then you have that food. Because by eating the protein and your vegetables first, okay, it prevents the rise in blood sugar very quickly as opposed to if you ate the carbohydrate first. And we have another video that talks about that. But those are two things you can do with type 1 diabetics. More fiber, order of your foods, okay, implement those, use it. Nobody will, will be against you taking more fiber in your diet and the way you eat your foods. And so you can do this um, with any of your meds. Okay, your doctor shouldn't have a problem. And support good kidney health. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out our other videos on our channel. Like below, comment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to your best kidney health. Bye.